it's really a pleasure to meet you and uh, you're really strong. Very dry sense of humor, if there's any at all. Bye, Gollum! What's up guys, Lord Beardo, Loot Nation, we're gonna run some mass dragon raids trying to get ourselves back up into the legendary league, it was pretty cool, we pushed up over into the 5200 mark before the end of the season, so we collected a bunch of trophies for being up there, the legend trophies, and we're gonna push with this dragon raid, I'm doing a split army raid here, I have no name for it, so throw a thumbs up and drop a name downstairs if you gotta get name for it we're gonna go ahead double lightning strike they have to be level five or higher and you have to get a max level earthquake and that will take out a max air defense so we go take one out from the sky then we set up what is our first army which is just giants in the clan castle that golem the heroes with the queen and the king and then you use the warden in the air coming in with the dragons and we are gonna try to burn ourselves to the town hall it's pretty fun raid it's not that complicated so you can really get to the middle quick on the ring bases and you hold on to that warden ability until the clan castles engage all the troops put your rage spell down so they get crazy in the middle and you let your dragons go to town the queen is gonna help out there with the eagle cannon take it down it only got one shot in the air and we get the town hall right at 48%, 49% we're already at. So we're going to get the two star. And in these raids, I'm just mainly looking for big dark elixir. I'm trying to get my king finished to 40. We got the queen done already. So we're going for big dark elixir raids and trying to push up here into legendaries. Now this raid is quite expensive. The dragons are a lot of money, but... It is worth it because you're not really spending anything on the Dark Elixir. I think it's like 900 Dark Elixir, which is nothing. When you're running Boulder Raids, it's almost four grand just to go in. And that's not including, you know, if you get a bad raid or you miss out on the Dark Elixir, you're donating your troops in war. There's so many different, uh, you know, elements to spending the Dark Elixir. So I want to try to preserve as much as possible. I'm, I don't need my Elixir anymore because my Elixir troops are for the most part totally done. I think I have some spells left to do. Obviously, the lightning strike goes up to seven. So we got a little bit of work left to do. We're grinding. We're pushing. This was a big grab. 6,000 dark before the bonus. And we're finding all these big raids pushing into the legendary league. And these bases right here are perfect. You're looking for bases that have the air defense that are really easy for the king to get to if the heroes can get there the golem the giants the king if they can get there quickly then that is a perfect base because you can lightning strike any other air defense you need to and the dragons can just get right to the town hall so easily and there's a little bit of a funneling trick um i did fail on one which was like frustrating because I don't even really know what went wrong now I didn't have my warden set to the air I kept forgetting to do that so the first couple raids I'm just hoping that was the only element that needed to change but you'll see right here I'm gonna put all the dragons down in a line I always save a dragon or two just to put in and like guide in after some buildings get taken down I put the baby dragons Usually with the, the, I guess, the push squad, the ground squad, they're going to try to make it to this jump spell. I didn't bring any wall breakers, and that cannon's making some quick work. So I wanted to get down uh, something to take him out, and he's just chewing away at that army, and the dragons are taking a beating in the middle. So this raid's turning a little sour. Go ahead, pop that warden ability. He, keep them dragons alive for a little bit. All the raid spells are down, but then the heroes kind of catch up with those giants and they're gonna move right into this middle compartment here, but they get fried up so quick and diverted around the outside. So we are pushing for just a 50% a right here. The queen's gonna pop her ability, that dragon gets one last breath and we get the one star, woo! 
That was close. So they're not all going to be these smooth raids. We're, we're trying to learn it a little bit more. Once we get our lava hounds, which we got in the lab, we'll give those a shot. Floating them in there and doing some of that. I think it's like a quad or even five lava hounds some of these guys are doing in their air raids. So I want to see how the air raids develop once we get all the, the max level air troops. And that's going to bring up something I've been thinking about today. I was thinking... These baby dragons are the same exact size as the regular dragons. Why? Why are the baby dragons the same size? I feel like the dragons need a makeover. They need new graphics. They're so old looking, man. They don't look like they should be a part of the game anymore. We need some really cool dragons. In my opinion, they should definitely be a lot bigger than the other troops. They should be really cool. I think they have the ability to make them look real cool. The baby dragons look awesome. So we shoot down that back air defense, and then we're gonna go ahead and attack from this left-hand side, put down that push squad with the baby dragon, and we are going to line up our dragons right across the whole back, and we're gonna go right in, just a, just a bull rush right here, right through the sky. The dragons are so fun to use. People are like, they're so over dragons by Town Hall 7, because all you can do in war is these dragon raids. So when you get back up to 11 and now they're actually serviceable again, it's kind of fun. I actually think it's kind of fun. And there's so many different defenses that you have to worry about and the warden ability and it's pretty cool. And the, the actual balloons that I keep floating in the match, I just get them taken down so quickly. So I'm gonna start to mess around with different ways of putting them in there a little differently and just kind of working with different air attacks for Town Hall 11, cause they're fun. And it's the only way to really save up Dark Elixir. You see the baby dragon is still alive. The, the I got three dragons left. The warden is just went down and we are sitting at 54% with two stars and we collected over four grand in dark. Man, we made a killing in this one with 15 trophies. So you'll see that, you know, this is a pretty decent raid. I did fail. I failed on a raid and lost about 16 trophies and it was like 44% and it was awful. <laughs> it was just like a... It was a total bad raid, and I don't really know what went wrong. Oh, blah, 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 blah. So what went wrong is actually still undetermined. <laughs> we have two more raids left. We're going to lightning strike earthquake that upper left air defense. We're going to use the same push army. We're still using the same exact army. We got two raids left to show you. And the good thing about these raids is they really only last like two minutes. Like they're super quick raids. You really, I mean, this one was like a minute and 30 seconds. I think that said it was left on there when I put the troops down. Like they're so quick. They're an easy, fast raid. Definitely try it. If you're at Town Hall 11, it's definitely worth trying. I kind of got the idea from a guy in San Francisco he beat me in a challenge where I went up against Clash with Ash's base to see if I could win 5,000 gems. And this, not this particular raid, he used all dragons with a double uh, quake zap spell combination. And he got a high 70% or low 70% actually. He ended up winning the competition, but he gave me, inspired me to start going back to the air. We get all of our dragons in the middle here. They're raged up. They're toasting through the middle of this ring style base. The air defenses in the back is what's gonna take down the rest of the troops. So as of right now, without the Lava Hounds, it cannot be a three-star raid. I'm still trying to think about how I'm gonna do that once I get all the Lava Hounds. I'll probably have to check up some videos. So if you guys see any videos that you know of air attacks in Town Hall 11 from other YouTubers, go ahead, throw their links down on the bottom there, like, Subscribe to the channel when you guys get a chance and also check out our Twitter at Lord underscore Beardo where me and Lady post all of our adventure stuff. Go check us out guys and we are coming up to the last raid and this again was what I was bringing up before about the dragon, the baby dragon and dragon. Look at this, look at the difference in the graphics, the tongue out, the cooler wings, it's it's thicker, it's more Clash of Clans looking, the, ba the dragon is outdated. It almost looks like a dragonfly. Like, don't call it a dragon if it's smaller than the baby dragon. 
Supercell, we need a better dragon. Go ahead, guys. Tell him. We need to We need to take over. We need more. We, get, we want him in the winter update. Let's get it quick. Last raid coming in here. This is a great base for bowlers, too. So sometimes when I come up to these bases, I'm like, man, if I had my bowlers, I would steamroll this. But that's the difference between an elixir army or a dark elixir army. When you're using a mainly elixir army, you're going in for specific things. I'm going in for a two-star and dark elixir. And when I'm using the big dark elixir armies you want just the three star pounding so this is an alternative just to have some fun just to kind of hone in on your skills and we're going to break this down a little better here i slowed it up so you can see i put the jump spell right where that cannon's going to be with the idea the giants are going to jump hit one defense maybe even go over to the archer tower but then quickly work right back into that air defense the queen floats in behind her the king comes in and one of the baby dragons goes to work you throw down your dragons before you go ahead and do all the you know the intricate work with your heroes and hitting the abilities and worrying about what's happening with them you just line your dragons up really quick save one or two in this one I knew that I didn't need any extra so I put a couple right in the middle where that kind of that that loon is flying over so that I could just know that all the dragons will punch right into the middle of the base and they go right in then you use your warden ability drop all your raid spells down time them so that when the one's about to finish you drop a fresh one and they get a nice rage dose and keep them going crazy they're so strong and they're so tanky you torch through the middle we get the dark elixir we got dragons all over we got a baby dragon still up the queen is going to go ahead and finally get taken down but not before she steals a shot or two on that gold so Super quick raid, gotta go for it. Let me know if it works out for you guys. I'm gonna try to tweak it a little bit, but thanks for hanging out today. Peace out, Lord Bardo's gone.